So let's take a look at value proposition. Now, value proposition is not something you're building in isolation. While the value proposition is about solving a customer problem or need, it really consists of three components. The easy one for most entrepreneurs to talk about is what product features you have or what product services you're providing. But there's actually two more important components to value proposition. What gain are you creating for customers? And what pain are you solving for them? Alexander Osterwalder, when he drew the business model canvas, really emphasized this. It's not just about your product. And especially if you come from a technical background, it's really easy to see, oh, look at all these features. And if you find yourself doing that, you need to complete the sentence and say, yes, but here's what we make people be able to do better, and here are the problems we solve for them. So the real goal of you figuring out the value proposition is understanding what we call the minimal viable product. You're trying to figure out, now that I kind of understand my product and service and that what I'm gaining for customers and the pain I'm solving, what's the smallest possible feature set I could be shipping on day one that solves these pains and creates gains for them? And this really is an interactive process because there's no way, no possible way, sitting in your office you could figure this out. And the default for great engineers and great entrepreneurs is, oh, I understand customers' problems and needs, so you know, don't worry about it. We'll just spec the entire product on day one. Your real goal here is to figure out what's the smallest thing you could build and develop that actually get you users or sales or whatever and get out to market as quickly as possible. And so the goal of you getting out of the building for value proposition is understanding gains and pains so you can figure out What's the MVP or minimum viable product?